Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Aaron with U-Haul. Using a circuit tester is essential when installing trailer wiring on your vehicle or diagnosing wiring issues within your vehicle or trailer. So we're going to show you how to properly use a circuit tester and how to avoid mistakes that can cause damage to your wiring. So let's go over our circuit tester. On our wired end, we have an alligator clip that serves as our ground. And then we have our test lamp that will light up when we find an electrical current. And then on our circuit tester, we have a cap on here, which helps probe wires. You just let the wire sit in that little hook right there. And if you remove this cap, it exposes our metal tip, which we use to test our wires or our terminals to find the electrical current. Now we want to make sure that that tip is very sharp. If it's not sharp, it can damage our wires. So to kind of show you, let's go ahead and test some wires. So you're going to take your wire and you're going to place it into the cap of your circuit tester. And you're going to line it up where the tip of your circuit tester is in the middle of the wire. Now if you made sure that your tip was sharp, you just have to put a little bit of pressure in for the tip to barely pierce the wire to find a current. And it really won't take a lot of pressure. A mistake a lot of people will make is that they think that they really need to push down to get some connection from the wire. And when you push down too hard, you can pierce the wire, getting the tip right through the cap, which can clearly cause damage to your wire as you can see right here. To check a wiring harness with a circuit tester, we're not going to need the cap on our probing circuit tester, so we're going to remove that. And then we're going to ground our alligator clip. We're going to use the exhaust since that makes a really good ground. So there's two techniques to checking your wiring harness. The first is a front probing technique, which is checking the pins on our wiring harness. So using your circuit tester, you'll take the tip and just touch each pin until you find the function that you're looking for. We have our hazards on, so we'd be able to find our hazards. In some cases, the pins are too small for your circuit tester to check, or you won't be able to disconnect your wiring harness. In that case, you can try the back probing technique, which is going through the back side of your harness. So where your wiring enters, you can take your circuit tester and you can push it in just till you find the beginning of that terminal where you touch that metal and get that connection. That way you don't have to probe your wires and accidentally cause any damage to your wiring. Using these techniques correctly can come in handy when checking your vehicle and trailer wiring. If you ever find any wires that are bundled together or that are twisted together and you're unsure of where they go, don't just check random wires. If you probe the wrong wire, you can cause some serious damage to your wiring, especially if that's a sensor wire. So just make sure that you use your circuit tester correctly. If you have any questions about this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation or a diagnosis with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.